Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Victoria 2 with the Historical Project Mod as the United States of America. So let's see, we are in the middle of a great war, which is rather funny, <laughs> to be honest. It's going pretty well, I mean, we're fighting alongside Germany and Germany is kicking major butt. That's fine, fine by me. And we're trying to get a few colonial possessions. Uh, I assume that France will not surrender simply because we do not hold all the stuffs that we have put into our uh, list of demands. So that's basically at this point the one province down here in Africa, which Germany is sieging. And Guyana, which I think has been... Never mind, Guyana has been sieged. Okay, that's fine then. So I think if we just secure this one, it might be over. We shall see. Of course, this is a reload, so we're, the economy is going to go haywire for a while. Oh dear, more defaults. Poor AI is going bankrupt. For a moment there I was wondering if they'd send troops straight to our interior. Uh, let's see, you're gonna go and occupy, say, this one. Right, we were also retraining our armies, weren't we? Trying to re uh, make some new compositions. With airplanes and other things, let's see. Did you do you? Tank and airplane and other than that. The default stuff. Do I have more tanks? I do. That's okay. So let's see. One tank, one aircraft. Move you, say, here or next door. And you're not, not going to need the engineer. Yep, that seems fine. Uh, do I have the supply limit now for uh, larger forces? Can I like bunch of these, two of these together? Where do I even see supply limit? Ugh. Hundred and thirty six. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we can afford sixty in one province. At least there. 50 up here in the Appalachians Mountains. If we were to go down into this area. Yeah, I think 60 is fine in most cases. So we'll do that. We'll try to start merging these forces. As soon as we have enough aircraft and tanks. Did I make enough tanks? I have quite a few queued up, so... So it should be fine. It'll take a long time to actually get those, though. What do I even have here? Oh. There was another stack of... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these stacks are completely destroyed. <laughs> Just run the hell away. We can't really do anything. It'll be up to Brazil to finish off the French here. And I hope they do. The French shouldn't be able to reinforce it though. Shouldn't. Big words. Let's see. Alright, you... Why do you have two of you here? Uh, one of you is going to move, and the other... There we go. Did I get a pop-up for this? Hmm. 
Maybe I missed it. Anyways. That, alright. Of course, it was Germany that started the occupation, so I didn't get told. That's... unfortunate. Have you managed to take... <sighs> Dang it, come on, Germany. I'm almost... I wonder, should I send someone down there? Oh, they're gonna get it, though. Gonna take them long enough, but they are gonna get it. Um, you should get squished by the time I get those forces over there. Okay, so we're not losing money because you're trying to buy tanks <laughs> that aren't any available. That's what's going on there. New Lisbon. Quite a location for it. In the interior as well, not coastal. Huh. Interesting. Da -da -da, you took that province. Fine, move on. Oh! Looky there. Let's see. First of all, uh, just do that one. It looks like France is ready to surrender. Does that mean that the final one is occupied? It isn't. But... Uh, I assume that France accepts the realities of things. That or we've hit 100%. Not 100%, but darn close enough. Okay, let's see. What? The thing is, I don't know. I, I'm gonna decline all enough. Because I want to go here and make sure I get everything. I, that interface doesn't really tell me if everything we want is on the list. I assume it is. And uh, we can't add any more, right? Because we do not have the infamy values. Twenty-four seventy-two. No, we do not have it. We do not have the infamy limit. I could. I could ask for a hell of a lot more. But if I do that, we're gonna end. Uh, we're gonna end up in uh, containment wars. Which are going to be really painful. I don't really want to do that. So let's see, Great War Capitulation. So their forces will be pretty much non-existent for a very long time. We'll get the Congo, we'll get Upper Egypt, we'll get Dutch Guiana and French Guiana, we'll get the Windward Coast. Yeah, that's fine. Let's proceed. We also have peace. Come on. Thank you. Fine. So, we straighten out a bit of our borders down here. It looks a lot better. We straighten out... Well, we got a foothold down here. Looks nice. Yeah, you go to Guyana. Just park there, please. We straighten out the coastline here too, which is great. Of course, this costs a fortune in infamy. Um, not as much as it would have otherwise, of course, being it, since it being um, ah words, since it was a great war. Um. Why do I hold this? <laughs> Why? What happened here? This was this was German territory. Why is that now ours? Because I didn't demand hero land. And it was German. Huh. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Um, 
But he got up Regis. At least we got this sorted out a little bit. Most curious though. I just do not understand how I could get this. It was occupied by. No, it wasn't. France is moving upwards. They hadn't occupied this yet. I think. I don't know, but we have it. So be it. And that does change a few other things. First of all, let's see. Uh, American Guiana. Let's grant statehood to American Guiana. And he has some decisions. Right, because they have more African territory. African farms and mines. That's fine. Claim Ivory Coast. Oh, so now we know that France doesn't have the um, revolution and counter revolution because they haven't enacted these decisions. So we get to do that instead. So basically what those decisions do, as far as I can tell, is just reorganize the territory so that all the old cores go away, the old African nations, and instead you get the newer, uh, more modern states, more contemporary states show up. Like the Ivory Coast. And the Congo. Yeah, that's what's going on. Anyway, that'd be fine. We are at peace. Peace in our time. At least for now. Still a bit afraid of taking that last tech there. Um, we're so far behind on Navy tech too. But I do think I want to, like, catch up on army tech first. We kind of lost out on some of those battles and that those hurt us. Let's see, that should be the, um, notification. Shouldn't we get a notification for being at peace? Uh, immigration should be back to normal. Yeah, we need to aid the colony. Prevent the diseases as much as possible. Because we're good guys. Still no new tanks ready to go. There we go. So now immigration should be back to normal. Hmm, war is over, armistice and fighting over. Fantastic. So, total effects, we lose a ton of war exhaustion. No wait, we gain war exhaustion. Oh, no, no, I... Okay, um, total war will be removed. Yeah, we do gain 20 war exhaustion. Yikes. All pops will become less militant, though, and more in favor of pacifism. And we'll also get a 
<laughs> no more war modifier for three years. War exhaustion goes down. Okay, so during the fight, we have less war exhaustion. As far as I remember the total war modifier. But once it's over, you get a whole bunch... You, you kind of get the hangover. I suppose that's, that's the mod's way of trying to make you not engage in constant wars. Which is fine. Oh, now we're losing money. So someone built a tank factory somewhere. Or it's just a matter of, uh, you know, the, the war being over and everything returning to normal. Let's see. How to fix this budget, though? Do you want to raise taxes? Do we want to cut, raise tariffs? No, we can't raise tariffs. Tariffs are blocked. Dang it, I completely forgot about that. So we'll have to raise taxes. Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. The cat is in the background here. It's raining outside today, and he came in sogging wet and begging for attention and sliding around because his paws are wet, so he can't really go anywhere. Come on, kitty. There we go. Yeah, wet cat. Ugh. An affectionate wet cat is not fun. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> that means you get you get sogged out too. Anyway, uh, let's see. We need to raise taxes on this. Fifty-five percent taxes sounds lovely. Is it the war exhaustion that changes? Uh, Taxes. I wonder. Anyway, we are gonna attend. Ah, come on, kitty, let me play. <laughs> ah. Fun times. Oh, not a hundred percent, maybe. That, that might be a tad excessive. Fifty-five. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, you. Ah. Auto screen. Check this. Sure. Well, there's not going to be much for us to do then. We have need to wait for three years anyway. We can't, we can't declare any wars. If we do, we're going to be so screwed because of the whole war exhaustion thing. Where do I even see my current war exhaustion? I mean, I know it's in the interface somewhere. <laughs> Is it in the diplomacy screen? Yeah, there we go. 18% war exhaustion. Yikes. And of course you have the no more war modifiers, so... It's gonna take a while for that to wear off. South African liberation of French Natal. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. I mean, we kind of nerfed France into the ground. They're not allowed to train troops either. So, yeah, they don't have much in terms of force. And Russia is down to 8th. Yikes. Yeah, Russia is also not allowed to train any new forces. And they don't have a single troop. Russia had a pretty substantial army when the, this capitulation went into effect. And they weren't in any way actually occupied, so I'm kind of surprised at that. This of course means there aren't anyone that can really challenge Germany anymore. 
Well, maybe Britain, maybe us. Britain more than us, probably. But yeah, the South African liberation of French Natal. Huh. <laughs> oh my word. And Spain is also justifying on France. Well, I suppose quite a few nations will justify on France and Russia now. Especially Russia. Russia isn't with Russia without a single army unit. Yikes. And if I sound distracted, it's again because of the cat. So if he just settles down. There you go. Ah, the cat is dry. I'm soaking wet. That's how it goes. Anyways, we have tons of war exhaustion. Could I check... I didn't think about that. Can I check France's war exhaustion, for example? 89%. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I think they suffer more than we do. I assume... Germany is just suffering the same thing we are. Uh, Russia... Doesn't suffer as much. I mean, France suffered that much because they were completely occupied. That drove their war exhaustion way up. Poor France. I feel for them. So anyway, Spain is now fo trying to fight... are going to fight Spain. I assume for most of French Africa. South Africa is fighting for Natal over here. They don't have cores, though. Yeah, there we go. Spanish colonial conquest of Mauritania. That one's gonna be interesting, though, because France still has some kind of... some forces left. And they can certainly walk to Spain. Um... Ah, I don't think there is any militancy, but we'll take it. Japan is still fighting for Korea. Though they don't seem to be able to make an actual landing. Wait, Knight is in the German sphere? When did that happen? And South Africa is in the German sphere. I didn't even notice. Well then. Um, sure, we'll take the, uh, take the prestige loss. Though we have less prestige now because Germany got more from the Great War, right? Yeah, it looks to be the case. So now we're ahead of them simply because of our far greater military. Our vast and rather expensive military. Dang it, still waiting for the tanks. I'm hoping that some of our people will actually make a barrel factory or a tank factory. Can we lower taxes to 50? Yeah, that seems fine. 50% flat tax. Good lord. Who's Canada at war with? No one, apparently, but I, I don't know. That's quite a stack. Hopefully, if we fight Canada again in this game, I certainly hope we're going to do a better job than we did previously. Oh well. Had a slight... Uh, 
failing there. And South, Af South Africa is doing like, pretty good, actually. What about Spain? Uh, well, they won. That surprises me. How did Spain just suddenly just win that one? Defender occupation minus eight. What? Oh. <laughs> Colombia is in waiting and therefore they lose. Oh. Poor South Africa. They tried. And the Liberal Party was rocked by a scandal. Oh, that means we're not going to get the Republicans back into force. We're going to be stuck with the Democrats. Most likely. Alternate plans, yes. Plus the general, and we're building a whole bunch of factories. If only they would build the um, the tank factory. Ah well, time will tell. At least the Great War is over. We've secured quite a bit of more territory. I just do not have the infamy limit to conquer the rest of the stuff here. I could go ape on the pla on the planet, of course, but if I do, again, containment wars, and I don't really want to fight those. They suck. Hmm. Though we are getting to the point where our forces might actually be large enough to fight them regularly. If migration wasn't completely hampered by... Um, where did I... Where's the map mode? It's here somewhere, isn't it? There we go, migration. If this wasn't completely gimped, by war. I think I would have braved a more aggressive campaign, but it just so, so it sucks losing all the immigration all the time. Anyway, time for a break. Thank you for watching.